So once again, we're dealing with an armed robbery inside of a business in the uptown area. So last night about 10, 15 p.m., three suspects wearing gloves, hoodies, and masks, armed with handguns, made their way into the Monkey Hill Bar on Magazine Street. Six people, or about six people, were inside the bar at that time, and according to the victims, the individuals took cash from the register, money from upstairs offices, wallets, and money from the victims themselves. All three suspects fled the area on foot. From the moment we got the call, our officers were on the scene within five minutes. No one was injured during this incident, and our detectives immediately began working to identify surveillance video in the area. The investigation continued throughout the night, and this is the third incident like this to happen to us in the past several weeks. So based on what we know right now about each incident and each investigation, we are not ready to connect all three incidents. Of course, we see the similarities, but there's not enough evidence to say that all three are certainly connected or related. In all three cases, the individuals were described as males wearing masks covering their faces, dark hoodies tied tightly around their heads with latex gloves. So we're working through evidence that we've uncovered at each scene, but we need more. We know someone knows who these individuals are and how we can find them. We need you to come forward today to help us. Today, we come together with our federal partners to say we are coming after these individuals responsible with the entire weight of the federal government. Yesterday, we announced the arrest of a teenager responsible for five robberies in the uptown area. We plan to charge him as an adult. Earlier this month, we arrested three other juveniles for at least 10 armed robbers in the uptown area who are also being charged as adults. The punishment for the individuals we're looking for today will be a federal prosecution. This is not a threat but it is certainly a promise. And the punishment is certainly real. We're more determined now than ever to track down these individuals who terrorize our residents and terrorize our visitors. We're using every resource available to prevent crime and take down those individuals who choose to commit it. So today our quality of life officers will begin going door to door on foot beats at every single restaurant, every single bar, meeting with business owners, and residents about crime prevention. To increase visibility, we're putting members of the Mountain Division in the area during the daytime uh, as well. And I'm asking anyone, anyone and everyone who has information about these crimes to come forward and give us the information that you have. We are all working together and we will not let up or give up.